from the story of Russian weapon system strategists who is trying to get inside Vladimir Putin's head. It sounds like it would come from a science fiction film. The next generation robot and machinery developed by Russia is nothing less than an advanced multipurpose fleet that can change the face of their army. Let's explore. Meet Russian humanoid robot Fodor, developed by Russian specialists. Fodor is the final experimental demonstration object of a research project designed for extreme situations and space exploration. This robot has remarkable capabilities, including the ability to shoot with both hands. It can operate autonomously or be controlled by an operator using a specialized control suit. The development of Fodor began in 2014, and it was first presented to the public in 2016. According to its specifications, the robot is capable of using a key to open doors, operating a fire extinguisher, and using a saw. Additionally, Fodor can drive a car and even crawl on all fours. Furthermore, it has mastered both transverse and longitudinal splits, setting a world record. Standing at a height of 180 centimeters and weighing between 105 and 106 kilograms, Fodor represents a significant advancement in robotics technology. Russia's latest addition to its robotics arsenal appears to be the M81 robot dog armed with advanced capabilities like an RPG-26 rocket launcher, as showcased at the Army 2022 Arms Exhibition in Moscow. With its potential applications ranging from emergency assistance to combat operations, the robot dog represents a significant advancement in military and civilian robotics. Overall, Russia's entry into the realm of robot dogs underscores its commitment to staying at the forefront of technological innovation in the global arms industry. However, investigative outlets found the futuristic device to bear a striking resemblance to a consumer-grade robotic dog available on Chinese online marketplaces, which underscores Russia's capabilities on the claims. Another notable Russian robotic system is the Cernik, an armored tracked vehicle patrolling without human assistance, navigating its way across a 100-kilometer route and working with a swarm of drones. It is designed primarily for reconnaissance patrolling, demining, and guarding tasks. Weighing no more than 7 tons, the Cernic can reach speeds of up to 40 km per hour and operates in three control modes, manual, automatic, and direct control. Additionally, there is an option to install a high-speed 30mm cannon and anti-aircraft missiles further enhancing its versatility and combat capabilities. Russia is planning to develop an avatar robot within the next decade with the potential to replace soldiers on the battlefield. This robot can be designed either in an anthropomorphic form, resembling a human, or in a non-anthropomorphic form, significantly different from a human. According to developers, the robot should possess functional capabilities comparable to humans. The goal is to create a machine capable of independently interacting effectively within human infrastructure, traversing rough terrain, providing first aid, and operating vehicles. In 2015, the first developments of a humanoid robot capable of shooting and driving vehicles were introduced. A manipulator arm controlled by an operator nearby is used for firing. In the future, such avatar robots could potentially replace live soldiers. However, it is more likely that other countries, such as the United States or China, will be the first to implement such groundbreaking technologies globally rather than Russia. The Combat Robot NCTA is a group of robotic systems united under a single control system, subordinate to a human operator. The operator has the choice to stay behind and control it remotely or be with the robot on the front line to execute tasks. The robotic platform, equipped with a combat module, is operated from a command post which can be located anywhere, even in a separate armored vehicle or at a stationary point. Before the battle, the map of the area and grids of key landmarks to be eliminated are loaded into it. In combat, 
Special forces do not need to control every movement of the tele tank. It is sufficient to press a button and select one of several tasks. The Euron 9 is considered one of the most powerful ground-based drones globally in terms of firepower. This unmanned combat vehicle, UCV, is a product of Russian military technology and resembles an infantry fighting vehicle in appearance. It measures approximately 4.5 meters in length and 2 meters in width. With a combat weight of around 10 tons, Euron 9 is equipped with a 30 millimeters automatic cannon, 2A72, paired with a 7.62 millimeters machine gun. The Euron 9 also features launchers capable of deploying 9M120 Ataco anti-tank missiles on both sides of the turret. These can be substituted with Iglo anti-aircraft missiles, offering air defense capabilities. In contrast, the West, including the United States, the United Kingdom, and France, is actively developing combat robots to minimize human casualties on the battlefield. Russia initially faced technological lag in this field but has significantly narrowed the gap with the introduction of the Euron 9. These are just some of the examples of the new robot army of Russia that is terrifying the world. Russia has been working toward the goal of building a fully networked and automated military army that can defeat its adversaries and function in any environment. However, its military goals Russia's pursuit of robotic and artificial intelligence supremacy will be resisted with its political and economic objectives, rivalry with the US, China, and other powers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Immersive Fiction for more groundbreaking content.